Hello healers and health seekers. It's me, Ichoda, healing with medical medium information for 31 months now. If you want to know about my healing journey and what I'm healing from, the link is in the description box below. Not just the link, but like there's a whole description with information and links to other information. And today, I, it's time for What's Up Wednesday. I don't know if I look a little stiff to you, but I am. I can't really turn my head or move my head right now. And I'm in a lot of pain, but I'll be okay. It's getting better. You know how sometimes you get a crook, crook in your neck or whatever, like a cramp, and occasionally that happens to me. That's something that I would get every now and again. And for some reason the other day, I got one. And here's what I've learned in my many years of getting these crooks in my neck, is that if I have anyone massage it in any way or try to alleviate the pain in that way, it is a stupid, stupid idea for me because it always makes it a hundred times worse. And guess what I forgot? <laughs> and I asked my husband to massage my shoulders and he, then he does this, the chopping on my back because that often, actually the chopping is usually okay, but he massaged them too and that was a dumb mistake on my part. So I've just been in pain for days. Now, luckily for me, oddly, there is a record cold snap happening outside. And because of this record cold, my husband has been working from home for the past few days. First it was for me, but then the cold said his office is closed. Like everything is closed today. The postal service is not running in our state. I haven't seen a delivery truck. I haven't seen a single vehicle. Now we don't have a busy street outside my window because it's it's kind of a closed off neighborhood. So really only the traffic that you know, like lives in this neighborhood goes through it. But I at least will see cars coming in and out of our apartment complex and there has been nothing. No trap. It's like a ghost town. Nobody's outside except for occasionally some poor soul, including my husband who has to walk the dog real quick. So the temperature here is currently according to my phone and that's all I have to go on because I am not going to step outside and try to figure it out on my own. The temperature here is currently negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit with a real feel of like a negative 37 or 40 or something. I don't remember. It's cold outside, but it is amazing to me to see everything shut down completely. Oh gosh, there's a car. That's the first car I've seen all day. Anyway, they're moving really slow too. It looks like they're having second thoughts about going out. This past week has been a challenge and a half, and in, in not just because of my stiff neck, because with my husband working from home, it's actually, that's been a blessing, because then he takes care of making all the food and stuff, so I don't have to try to move around. And I've just been keeping heat on it during the day and icing it at night and having lots of lemon water and whatnot. In addition to that, my mom had a fall. My mother is elderly, I guess. Oh, it's weird. I've never said that out loud. It's weird to think of it that way because I, I don't know. When you have aging parents, you just always think of your mom as your mom or whatever. And I, it's kind of odd to think about my mom as being elderly and aging and all that stuff but I guess that's how numbers work so technically she is and she also has a degenerative disease that has been going on for a really long time and her cerebellum is shrunken and so she has balance issues and uh, other things that the cerebellum is in control of and the other day she fell in her kitchen and fractured her knee and luckily um, she lives with my brother and he takes care of her a lot of the time. I mean, she's pretty independent, but you know, he's there if she needs anything, like if she falls. And so it was good that he was in town because he travels a lot, but anyway, he happened to be in town, he was there. And when her knee didn't, her, her knee swelled up and didn't stop hurting and they were like, you know what, let's take you to the hospital. So both of my brothers went with her to the doctor and then the doctor said well we can't do all the testing here today so I suggest you go to the ER because they'll be able to test and do all the run all the tests needed so they went to the ER 
and it turned out that her knee was completely fractured and needed a surgery to put a metal plate in it so that she could walk again, I guess. Anyway, she's in a wheelchair half the time anyway. She can walk sometimes, but she, sometimes she needs the wheelchair because of her balance issues. And so fortunately, that's already all set up at her house. So she had the surgery yesterday and my adrenaline ran all day. I was completely freaked out. She has a lot of the same drug allergies I do, which is allergies to narcotics and many, many antibiotics actually. So I was very concerned about her having a surgery and, and you know, just she's older and she has that degenerative condition. I, I was just panicked. I, I have a crap ton of PTSD about surgeries and hospitals because of my first son and having to be in the hospital so much for his surgeries. Sorry, I didn't know this was going to happen. <sighs> Yesterday was very difficult for me because of all that PTSD and it's my mom and I'm worried about her. And I, of course, did everything I could to support my adrenals, eating all the foods and stuff. Although I, <laughs> I am doing, I am currently in round three of the Liver Rescue 369 cleanse and today is day five. So I was on day four yesterday. So I had specific foods I was supposed to eat and I did that. I did stick to the foods and uh, and I, I really tried hard to support my adrenals but at the same time, you know, sometimes you lose your appetite when you're stressed and worried and your adrenals are running. But I did a thing to support my mom and to support me which was I posted on social media and asked everybody for their prayers for her so that I would, because quite frankly, that really helps me feel better when I, if, you know, when other people are sending prayers, it just, I feel uplifted and taken care of and supported and it helps so much. And so I did post and of course people were sending prayers and thinking about my mom all day. And I think my brothers also posted on their social media, or at least one of them did, and, and they kept me updated, and <laughs> I was, you know, just, that was very stressful. And the good news is my mom came out of her surgery, it went, all went really well, and the hospital she's in, and she's being taken care of really well, and my brothers were there the whole day keeping me and my grandmother updated and I would update our cousins and tell them what was going on and anyway she came through her surgery fine she's had some physical therapy today she's eating my brothers say she's in good spirits so I'm really really happy about that because I just I worried so much that was yeah that was a really stressful day so my neck is stiff plus I'm like at all this adrenaline going and that's not good. Oh, I can't really shake my head. So the good news is, is that my mom was very well taken care of in the hospital that she was in. Everybody was super nice and super caring and made my brothers feel at ease. They made my mom feel at ease. She was in good spirits when she went into the surgery. They said that when she came out of the surgery, she woke up and ate a little bit. And then today she had her physical therapy, which was just a little bit of standing up and sitting down and she's been eating and in good spirits. My brothers are there with her, so she is well supported and well taken care of, and that is a huge relief to me, and especially that now she's come through and I know that she's doing okay, and, and I'm just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone who prayed. Thank you, universe. Thank you so much. It's hard when you're not physically there, it's hard to not be there, but I also know that if I were there, I mean my PT, I don't know if I can really be in a hospital. It's very, uh, it's very traumatic for me. So I don't know if it would have been good for her to have me there anyway. It's probably better that I was where I was, but anyway, just, that was a hard day yesterday, and I'm so glad 
I'm so grateful that she's okay and she's she's gonna go into a rehab facility in a couple of days and until she and they'll take care of her until she gets stronger and then she'll go home it's good she'll be fully taken care of and like I said <laughs> I'm doing the liver rescue 369 cleanse today is day five and I definitely noticed yesterday that when all of that all of those emotions were coming up and all of that stress was coming up that I really 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 wanted to eat some potatoes or something with you know just something denser <laughs> something that wasn't on the cleanse but still healing foods but not on the cleanse I really wanted to be able to eat uh, we made these potato wraps for my son and I wanted some of those but I didn't eat any of it but I just noticed like how much I wanted to eat denser foods because I and I know that's a pattern for me going all the way back through my life is like I am dealing with some really uncomfortable emotions I want to eat <laughs> I want to eat <laughs> to make it go away and the food will make me feel good and I just want to eat and not think about this, but I couldn't. I was on the cleanse and, well, no, I could have. I could have stopped the cleanse and been like, this isn't a good time, but I've already done that twice. <laughs> not stopped it, but like I was going to do it and then I, it didn't end up being a good time. So I didn't want to do that again. And I was like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to feel this and I'm going to get through it. And Oh, I'm still feeling it, you know, it's still coming up for me. It's big stuff to be healed and I think it's going to take some time, like increments and that PTSD for me is something I, that clearly it wants to be healed and is coming up for me to see like, okay, this is where I really need some love and healing. <sighs> yeah, big, big crazy stuff happening. I never really did talk about like round two. I was gonna do, I've just been so discombobulated the past few weeks and round two of the, I guess I talked about it a little bit last week or something, but you know, round two of the Liver Rescue 369. I didn't do the video I wanted to do. I wanted to do a wrap up video. Sorry, Muffins is getting really excited about her toy right now. I had a wrap-up video that I kind of wanted to do about even the first round of the cleanse, which I didn't quite get to do. It was like a what we did wrong, but maybe one of these days. I still have the list, so I know what it was, so one of these days I'll get that video made, but today's just What's Up Wednesday. <laughs> and I just posted a video today, so this is interesting, because it was a video I meant to post Monday, but I didn't get it edited. It's just, I have just not, this week has been whatever. Not just this week, but yeah, I having a hard time getting back into my regular sort of normal routine and ah, winter. How cold is it where you guys are? <laughs> if it's, are you, because there's six states that they shut the uh, United States Postal Service, they shut it down and my husband's office is closed, but they are still working from home and I know other things are closed. I can tell because nobody's going outside. And this is Wisconsin where they're pretty used to snow and even cold, but this is like a new level of cold that I don't think anybody's really accustomed to. I don't know what I was talking about. I just lost my train of thought completely. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to focus on what I'm saying because my body is in a lot of pain right now and especially my neck is in so much pain. I've just been icing it. I mean I've just been putting heat on it. When I put heat on it it's a relief. Like when I took a shower today I was like oh I think it's gonna loosen up and then it did while I was in the shower and then like for about a uh, half an hour after I got out of the shower until my body kind of cooled off from the hot water and then it went right back to being totally stiff and in pain so I put more heat on it <laughs> But that's the only, I just have to hold really still. And it's also kind of exhausting holding my head up right now. It feels like all of my muscles are just straining and just tight and it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> so anyway, it's it actually is getting a little better. So I know it's gonna get better. I just really looking forward to that. <laughs> the day when it just releases like tomorrow or the next day. Muffins has now exhausted herself on her toy and fallen asleep. 
So my food has been that of the Liver Rescue 369 cleanse and not much variance, although I feel like I'm going through it faster, but maybe I'm just not eating as much salad. Like I, I'm eating the salad, but then like I've already had a second applesauce today and it's not really anywhere close to dinner time, but I did get up pretty early, so I don't know, maybe that's why. <sighs> And then maybe also too, I'm probably a little bit extra hungry today because yesterday I kind of didn't eat very much because I was so worried. So I may take a nap today. I will probably take a nap today because <laughs> I'm feeling a little run down again, probably from yesterday. So I guess I just have a lot on my mind this week and I'm definitely still wrestling with the topic of where we're moving next. I don't know. For some reason, in my anxiety and panic yesterday and my worry, I just spent like the whole day like looking on Craigslist and Realtor.com for housing in different areas, but mostly different parts of Colorado. <laughs> and I don't think that helped me because <laughs> it just make, makes me... Uh. It's kind of one of those times in life where like I wish I had a fortune teller, like a really accurate psychic or something to say, hey, you're on the right track because I keep asking my angels and my gods and I keep sort of not getting any answers. And so I'm just, I'm not sure what to do with that right now. Anyway, enough about me. <laughs> Tell me about your week. Tell me what you've been, have you been having breakthroughs or grappling with the struggly stuff? It seems like all winter it's just struggle, 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 at least for me, but it seems like it's kind of that way for a lot of people, which is understandable, right? Like, we don't get to go outside and get fresh air and it's negative. The real fill this morning was like negative 43 degrees. And my friend told me that she has a cousin who's at a military base not far from here and she said the real feel was like negative 54 where she is and I'm like, which I know that's true because I'm not in the northern part of Wisconsin. I'm more, you know, in the, I'm kind of in the middle, but I, I would expect that the northern, more northern parts of Wisconsin are, are exponentially colder than it is here and it's brutally cold here, so. I don't know what that must be like. I don't know why I keep talking about the cold. Probably because I look out the window and it's just like barren and snow. A car went by. One car. <laughs> the one lone car that's brave enough to go out in this weather or maybe has to because of their job or something. Anyway, tell me how you're doing. Tell me how the weather is where you are. <laughs> I don't, I don't envy my friends in Australia with their like 118 degrees Fahrenheit, but it would be nice to be somewhere a little bit more moderate temperatures right now, that's for sure. I love you, my healers and health seekers. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up below. Sorry if it was a little bleh this time, I don't know. You can subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button. You can ding the bell next to it if you want to be notified when I post a new video. If you have ideas for me on topics to make videos on, please leave them in the comments. I have requests and that I haven't gotten to yet, so I know I'm asking for something that it's like, really, Joda, you're going to make a video? But you know what? You never know when that burst of energy and inspiration are going to come and I'm going to be able to like actually focus on a topic and do a topical video and not just the What's Up Wednesdays. <laughs> it's going to happen. But for now, this is where we are. Again, I love you so much and I hope that your healing journey is going well. Many, many, many blessings to you on your healing journey. Stay curious and you can heal. I love you, my healers and health seekers. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.